I've known him since he was a little boy, but I didn't have a great relationship with him then, or I didn't get to see him as often as when he actually moved to Lersh. Um, and so I've worked with Dave ever since he was done high school. And he's grown up to be very caring and intuitive. He understands things that most people wouldn't, uh, considering that, you know, he can't hear. September of 2015, when I, when I moved into Corinthian House uh, with David, that helped me to get to know him much better, um, to learn the details of how he communicates and uh, to build that relationship. The first time I came to the community, I lived in Waiguba House. And, uh, and every Sunday, so whenever he visits, uh, that's when, uh, you know, like he really looks forward to being with Gary McDonald. Gary is one of his uh, best friends in community. And uh, after supper, it's always expected that, you know, there's a movie. And I usually join them for that. So I think what makes the relationship really special to me is that he was my first friend I had ever in community because he, he welcomed me, he was there when I arrived and he's a, he's a really open personality. David is mostly deaf, um, he's able to hear very loud noise um, but most of his communication is in alternative ways. Um, so there's, a, there's sign language, an American sign language that David uses but then David also has created signs, um, for example, people's names in the community, he'll create a sign that sort of maybe reflects their personality or it's just a, a fun sign to do. Gary's also uh, not not very verbal uh, with his communication, uh, the same as David, but it doesn't seem like it's a problem to communicate. You know, like they're able to choose which movie they want to watch that day and able to laugh together when there's something to, you know, like uh, something funny. It's really hard to understand him when you first meet. Um, and even though I just met him and I didn't understand a word he said, he made, he made, yeah, he made me feel at home and he, he was really open and he wanted me to understand and he helped a lot. So, what's your name? What's your name? Ba. ba. What's my name? Yeah, yeah, so an M basketball for Matt, who likes to play basketball. Where are you working today? Here. Yeah. With Gia, so yeah. Tanya. I could explain something to, to him um, and how to do a task. And even though he can't actually understand what I'm saying, just by visualizing what I'm doing, even though I may not have words for it, he's he picks up on it very easily. So um, where somebody else that can hear me may not even understand. I would say that, you know, one of the gifts that David has is really uh, a great compassion for people that he cares and loves. He knows how to invite people in to communicate with him and to understand him and hence him understanding the others. And so even though words are not necessarily part of his communication, he's one of those people that I'm able to really clearly communicate with. Uh, communicate feelings, communicate uh, uh, thoughts. But what do you like to do with your friends? What do you like yeah. to do? Feda, Feda. Yeah, so. Feda. Yeah. Your friend Rebecca. Yeah. She's your friend. Yeah. And I know you're friends with <laughs> Mukhtar. Yeah. And I know you like to go for a burger and pop, sometimes a beer. Yeah. I think it's. It He's a really open person and he's always welcoming. Uh, when he sees new people, he's really excited and he invites them in. He lets them sign in his book, uh, writes down their phone numbers, wants to call them. He's not just meeting the person, he, he also wants to keep that relationship going and he's calling people and he, yeah, he, he works on relationships. Every day, he makes sure that he comes to my office after work uh, to have a meeting with me. And he surely, he'll just tell me that, you know, uh, I forgot our beer night, or I forgot the, I forgot to, uh, to give him a call. Or he'll just tell me that he called me the other night, or he'll tell me that he really appreciated watching Game of Thrones with him. Every single day, he'll come to my office at the end of the day just to tell me that, uh, that he's there and he's a friend.